Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from MTS and Certain Majalengka We will perform storytelling about Raden Ajeng Kartini Raden Ajeng Kartini, she is also known as one of the national hero determined to fight for the emancipation of women So, ladies and gentlemen, here is the story of Raden Ajeng Kartini Once upon time in the city of Jepara, there was born a beautiful baby from Japanese royal family. Her name is Kartini, who has a long name, Raden Ajeng Kartini. She is the daughter of Duke, who later became regent of Jepara. Raden Mas Adipati Aryo Sosroningrat. The mother of Kartini is Ngasira, the first wife of Sosroningrat, who worked as a teacher in school at Telukawar, Jepara. My wife, look at your team. She's so beautiful. She's like you. Yes, she is so charming and she is will be useful for a lot of people. Definitely my wife. She will be useful for many people. Little Kartini girl and so a cheerful girl. She played with other likes to grow up in real family. When she was 12 years old, she was prohibited from continuing her studies in Europe's leisure school, where she also learned Dutch. The prohibition to pursue the ideas of her schooling comes from her personal person, her father, because at the time she was a girl who was 12 years old and she must undergo seclusion. May I apologize, my father, for disturbing you? I want to ask something for you. It's okay, my dear. What do you want to ask? Sorry, my father. Would you tell me why you won't let me go to school? My dear, you are now 12 years old, and it's about time you do seclusion. This is already customary. You must follow the rule. I'm sorry, father, but I still want to go to school. You have to follow the rule. Do you dare to oppose our custom? Because there was no power on her against the wishes of her father, young Kartini resorted to do the seclusion. During the seclusion, she wrote letters to her Dutch friend to gain the knowledge of Europe concerning rights as human beings, especially women. When I started to write a letter to my friends, Rosa abandoned to share knowledge to me. Signs the time, the relationship between Rosa and Kartini worked continuously. Rosa abandoned also Avancin books and newspaper from Europe to young Kartini, so her thinking becomes more effective. After doing the seclusion, she managed with the region of Rembang, named Duke Aryo Singhi Joyo Adiningrat, over the choice of her parents. At the time, Kartini's status as the second wife of the region of Rembang However, her husband strongly support her ideals and even allow Kartini build a women's school. During her marriage, Kartini blessed with one son named Susalit Joyo Adiningrat. Kartini passed away on her 25 years old, her last birthday after giving birth. The Kartini struggle did not stop even after her death. The struggle continued by her friend, Rosa Abandonen, who posted the both letters into a book. The book was entitled, Door Does Turn Is To Click, which means, From the Darkness Into the Light. In 1964, President Insignor Sukarno declared Kartini Britain on 21st April as Kartini's Day, an Indonesian National Day. As a woman, Kartini is already no, as a famous woman's hero and any for then for Indonesian. Let us be the next Kartini. The next story is General Sudirman. General Sudirman is a national hero who was born in Bodas Karangjati on January 24, 
and 16. He was born to parents named Karsid Karowiroji and Siam. It is known that General Sudirman's father worked at a sugar factory located in Banyumas. Meanwhile, General Sudirman's mother was a descendant of the Rambang Wadana, who later married Karsid Karowiroji. The figure of Turidawati and Raden Chokro Sunario are two figures known as Sudirman's adoptive parents. His adoptive parents were assistant district officer who apparently sibling ties with Siam. At the time, Sudirman stood up to step out. He looked anxiously at the sky, listening to the cursed bombers arriving soon. Looks like someone is going to attack. Then, Raden Sudirman said to the president, Are there any final instructions before I leave? said Sudirman. Bung Karno glared at Sudirman. As the great leader of the revolution, he said, Move your troops out of the city of Dirman and fight to the death. I order you to spread the army to the village. Fill the entire village and hills. Place your men in every ticket. This is a universal guerrilla war, said Bung Karno. Sudirman finally obeyed what the president said. In the midst of the role of all Indonesian people solely day, but Raden Sudirman believed that Indonesian can be independent. Sudirman didn't know the word surrender. He was fogged until the Dutch were expelled from Indonesia forever. At the end of his life, General Sudirman died of tuberculosis and was buried at TMP Kusumanagara, Yogyakarta. The great struggle deserved to make Sudirman the fifth star posthumous great general. We think that's all of our performance from MTSN 13 Majalengka. Thank you very much for nice attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.